Hello and welcome to another coaching session from leadershipmentor.com. In our session today, I want to share with you the 80-20 rule of leadership. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this principle, but the Pareto principle basically states 20% of your priorities will give you 80% of your results. So the power of this concept is if as leaders, if we can identify what that 20% is, whether it's people or tasks that we do, and focus 80% of our time on those 20%, then that's going to produce pretty powerful results. So how do we apply this rule? Well, first of all, we have to determine the 20%. If you're talking about people, that's a little bit easier to do because the top 20% are usually the top performers. And so you can measure that if you're in a sales environment, you, your top 20% of your sales staff probably produce the 80% of your total sales. So from a people perspective, it's usually pretty easy to determine those top 20%. And as leaders, we should always know who our top performers are anyway. So one way we can do that, if it, if, especially if it's not pertaining to people, if it's more of a task, then we would ask ourselves, if this task was to go away, what would happen? And by asking that question, a lot of times that's going to tell us really if that would fall into the top 20% or not. And then once we've done that, then we simply spend 80% of our time with those 20%. Stephen Covey introduced the urgent versus important matrix several years ago. And I just want to go through this a little. It does apply to what we're talking about here. So if something is urgent, it has a sense of urgency or it has a a time sensitive uh, stamp on it, if you will. So something like a telephone ringing could be something that's urgent because if you don't answer it within a certain amount of time, that phone call goes away. Now if something's important, that's something that's probably aligned with our goals and objectives that we have as a leader. And we've talked about that in other sessions. So if something is both urgent and important, those items certainly fall in your top 20%, and those are probably things that you would handle yourself. Now, if something is important and it aligns up with our goals and objectives, but it's not necessarily urgent, that may be something that's due in two weeks or three weeks or a couple of months, but it's very critical that we get that done so it's very well aligned with our goals and objectives, then those are things that we need to put into our day-to-day -day, um, focus and do a little bit at a time so at the end of that time frame, two, three months, we have that task completed. And again, those are probably things that we're not going to delegate, but we may delegate parts of it. Now, if something is urgent, but it's not important, and, and the phone ringing may be a good example of that, those are things that we either want to ignore, put off, or we can delegate those. And if something is not important and it's not urgent, then most likely we can not do those items or those tasks. So how do we, again, apply this to leadership? Well, one of the challenges that we have as leaders is most of you are probably spending the majority of your time with your poor performers. And we feel like we need to do more training and more coaching. Um, they, they tend to cause more uh, issues that you have to deal with. So if you really sat down and looked at who do you spend the majority of your time with today, most likely you have this upside down and you're spending 80% of your time with the bottom 20% of your performers. And we need to flip that around. We need to spend 80% of your time with your top 20%. That's where you're going to get the biggest impact to your performance and the team's performance. We need to spend 80% of our resources on the top 20%. And we need to spend 80% of our people time with the top 20%, as we've mentioned. So that's really it on this principle of the 80-20. It makes a lot of sense that if we truly focus 80% of our time on those 20% of the people or the tasks that are going to produce the majority of our results, that we're going to be a better leader. So I challenge you to take a look at that and start to apply the 80-20 rule today. I hope you have a great day.